Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get started on Poloniex and get you on the way to trading cryptocurrency. So let's go ahead and log on to poloniex.com. You'll get to this homepage right here. Click on create your account. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Now for the purpose of this video, I have created a, um, a mock email or a dummy test um, email, so we're going to go ahead and use that and name this account trading test. Select your country. Now the phone number is optional, but we always suggest that you go ahead and put a phone number on there um, just for security purposes. It's better for a password recovery. Um, we're going to go ahead and input one of my dummy emails. And then go ahead and put a password. They obviously request that you use an alphanumeric password, so go ahead and follow those protocols. Go through with the I'm not a robot test. All right, click on all the squares with street signs. Pretty self-explanatory. So wherever there's a street sign. All right. I know this process usually takes um a couple of minutes, it depends what country you're trying to set up your account in. Didn't take too long for us. Let's go ahead and agree to the terms of condition. You can go ahead and click on them. I'm not going to because I already know them. And click on create account. And there you go, you're all set. Now the second step is to validate your email. I already have this email inbox pulled up, so let's go ahead and confirm that. You'll get an email from Poloniex. Go ahead and click on that link. All right, just give it some time. And you're all set. Let's go ahead and log into our new account. All right, I think this is just for the first time you log in. It'll have you um, verify the I'm not a robot test, but it doesn't happen every time you log in. I think this is just for the first time. Okay, and here we are. All right, so we have successfully created a new account on Poloniex. Um, I want to go over some of the um, security that we can go ahead and put on the account. So go over to this little icon right here and just click on my profile. And um, there's different levels of verification that you can um, go ahead and verify with Poloniex. The first one, which is the one that we just made, the most basic one, is creating an account with just a first, last name, country, and that's it. It gives you a 2,000 US dollar um, daily withdrawal limit. Um, if you go ahead and you want to go through a further step, going through the level two verification, um, you have to put a home address, zip code, date of birth, phone number. It'll give you that 7,000 US dollar daily withdrawal limit. And then you have the level three verification, which gives you a $25,000 limit to be able to withdraw daily. Um, however, you do have to put in a social security number or an SSN, um, scan a photo ID. It's usually like a government issued photo ID, like a driver's license or a passport. And then a picture of yourself holding the ID so that they know that it's really you. Um, I don't know how those guidelines go for other countries because I know that a social security number is um, a number issued by the U.S. government. Um, but, you know, you can go ahead and if you're from another country, try putting in um, your, your country ID and whatnot. And then 
submit those type of documents equivalent in your country and then uh, you should receive some sort of feedback from Poloniex. And then of course there's an enhanced verification for those traders that want to um, maximize their daily withdrawal limit um, and you do have to contact support for that. So those are the different levels of verification I just want to inform you guys about. Now if we go over here you'll see the little toolbar icon and you click on two-factor authentication. Um, this is something that allows you to really secure your account um, and make sure that it, it doesn't get hacked into, there's no security breach on it. Um, and so what the two-factor authentication is, um, it's a linked verification with an authenticator application. So for example, um, I like to use Google Authenticator. You go ahead and you download that app um, and it's going to give you an option to scan a new code. So you go ahead and you scan this. You put in your account password. And the Google Authenticator app is going to go ahead and generate a code like this one. So you'll go ahead and see that code. You submit it in here, and then you enable the two-factor authenticator. And so what that does is that every time you log into your account, instead of just punching in your login credentials, um, it, you also verify it on your authenticator app. So you'll get a notification on your cell phone um, telling you, hey, is this really you logging into this PC? So you, you know there's a two-step factor to that, and it really secures um, your account. And we really suggest it for various reasons, password recoveries and whatnot. And then you can also print a backup of your key in case uh, you ever misplace that phone and you have to download the app again on another phone. It's really useful and we really suggest it. Well, um, we hope that you do enjoy this video and that it was helpful. And if you did, go ahead, comment, subscribe, and like on the video. On the next one, we'll be talking about how to deposit and withdraw on Poloniex. See you next time.